Certainly show you around if you like to take That's a question. Question. So I If I walked in and I didn't know any better, and Rusty said to me, Oh, you can't film in the library, you're not allowed. And then I turned around and walked out based on the information that she gave me, and that means my rights would have been what? Violated, <laughs> right? Well, right? I'm not gonna make you say it because you know that's a very leading sentence, but, but, but Listen, that, well it's but, not leading, it's it's just honest. Yeah. So, yeah. Do you think that that's like a typically a nice thing for somebody to do when we're like, you know, being seriously concerned about her treading on our, on our rights, uh, that she laugh. Is that normal behavior from her? I think she's just a little nervous. This is not something we have happen every day. Do you think that I don't get nervous when she tries to tell me that I can't do something that I know I'm allowed to do and that she's like, you know, threatening to call people because I'm using my freedoms. Don't you think that that would make me nervous? Absolutely. And so the person that she was referring to, that was police, right? Um, well, unofficial police. It's just to give them a heads up like me. It's just to give them a heads up like me. It's just to give them a heads up like me. Just First Amendment people, we're just free American half time and check on. Hold on, that that's concerning to me too. Why is it so? Do you inform people when somebody of um, that that dresses a certain way comes into your library, or do you call the police when somebody's coming in here and exercising their religious religious beliefs? If somebody comes to rent a Bible, are you calling the police on them too? So why are you? So why would you call the, why would you then call the police to even notify them that people who are exercising their rights uh, are here? That's concerning to me. Yeah, that's not even like a first That's a, that's we're, protected. We're not allowed to be nervous that people like Rusty being Rusty on the Constitution and people like you giving excuses for why she behaves the way that she does. That's unacceptable. I'm sorry. Can you... I don't want to be recorded. I'm not even on Facebook. In public. You're infringing on I'm my I'm infringing rights. on your see, see, I didn't ask is, you. Did you ask me if I could be recorded? I'm not going to ask you. No. Now I'm just going to do it. No. Did you ask me no. if I could be no. recorded? No. And I won't. And I won't. So enjoy that. Please do it. Enjoy that. No. So I'm going to disseminate it to thousands of people. And you know what? You're so What's scary. That? God's watching you very closely. Well, you know what? That's actually freedom of religion. We just spoke about. God's watching you very closely. God's watching you very closely. God's watching you very closely. What happened to me here when I redressed my government? Yeah, looks like you, you were blocked. I was, yeah. which would be a violation of my yeah. First Amendment right and my right to redress my grievances. You think the video I watched like five minutes of it. From the stomach down. anymore after that? I just, yeah, you know, there was issues, uh, training issues I saw. Every piece so. You got anyone in that block list? Hmm. Hang on. Am I in that block list? Just, I'm just not understanding. Like he he saw that he was blocked. He saw I'm not blocked. The town clerk saw the same thing. Why is this the hill that you would like to die on? Like why can't we just get him unblocked? It's the proverbial hill that the town dies on. Like you guys lose much. You've restricted his freedoms twice. Not you personally, because I don't know that. But this library has restricted his freedoms twice now. Mine once. There was a woman that came in here that used her freedom of speech and used her freedom of religion to express that God's watching him. That didn't get restricted. Yeah, see, we don't censor. I mean, sir, ma'am, this is wrong. And if you can't see that it's wrong, then we have a serious problem. His free speech should not be blocked on a public forum. He should be unblocked, just as simple as we're standing here. It's a click of a button to unblock him. It's as simple as we're standing here. A genuine apology could Keep be coming from Rusty. Is coming. So you got it's important that folks remember that those who would sacrifice essential liberty for temporary security deserve neither 
liberty nor security. Also, Josh, I would say, like, I haven't risen my voice. Nobody has. So. This okay. is free speech. So you cannot silence his free speech. Censored. So now I'm engaging in civil disobedience. Know, Your not responsibility not. is to figure out what is done next for Rusty as far as employment. That's your responsibility. You apologizing for her, it, that's a void. You can't apologize for somebody okay, that did something. Yeah, they're doing some hiring stuff, right? I don't know what the meeting is. Hopefully they're hiring some new library staff. How long have these been up here? A couple of years? Nice. A little separation there. My security, right? That's right. You got anything else we can help you with? Or? Did you guys see um, a video featuring the Wheeler Public Library? I would check that out sort of event over there they did yeah it was an event that um, Rusty the librarian threw celebrating the destruction of free speech and free press and she told us it was illegal to film in the library and then they went as far as to uh, delete comments and block us from the library's social media platform which is concerning because it's it's illegal hmm. I mean I uh, like the any any municipal page, whether it's on Facebook or Google, yeah, yeah. that's public domain. I mean, Supreme Court's ruled on it over and over. So a couple months ago, a city in Kentucky paid someone a hundred thousand dollars because that person wrote F, uh, F U on their Facebook page. They deleted it. He can't. So we came to figure out what the city's planning to do about that. A lot of people saw that video. Okay. Thousands and thousands of people saw. It. I'm hoping that someone wants to talk to us. If not, yeah, yeah. We got problem. Is that's why you want to speak to HR? Or yeah. Do you want to talk to the town administrator about that? Or? That'd be great. Are they they're, in a, they're one door down. Are they in a meeting too? I'm not mm -hmm. I'm not sure if they're in the building, but um, yeah, we're on the kind of other side of the building where it is. I appreciate you being so nice. We'll uh so we got to go out this door, go so over one? Out the door, down the ramp, and the other door, and it's on your left. That's the uh, town administrator's office. You'll, the town administrator's assistant should be in there. Then I guess it's anybody's guess as to where the town administrator is. Thank you. Uh, thanks, man. All right. You have a good day. You too. It's like... Have you noticed the lack of like empathy shown by these mm -hmm. employees? No one seems concerned. Look at that. <laughs> hey, guys, hold each other. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Thank you, the town clerk. Yes, I am. You sent me an email. Yes. You know who I am? Uh, I assume you're the, with the uh, First Amendment rights that were probably. Excuse me, probably at the library last week. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I called this morning yep. too. So um, I appreciate you getting yep. those records sent yep. off to me. Um, so what do we do? I mean, how do we take care of this? I mean, um, I've been it's, I've been blocked it's, it's, on the library page, which is illegal. Uh, that I have no idea uh, anything about. Illegal. It's a well, public, I have no idea forum. anything about blocking anybody on any of the pages. Um, the library trustees, there's an elected board of library trustees, and they are the ones that are in charge of hiring and firing and whatever the people that are working at the library. Rusty's still working there? They I don't work diligently to change do you have that. Your, do you have your, um, your 
your other phone signed into your Facebook right now so we can show her that it doesn't yeah, I was actually, for you. Yeah, I was actually just going to do that. So, yeah. But we'll, we'll show you. So I'm going to... So he'll pull up his and show you what it shows. I'm going to go to the Wheeler Public Library. Let's go. So Nashua Public Library actually yeah. did the same thing. Yeah. They blocked me. And then I spoke to some aldermen. And, yeah. and now they've been noticed of intent. Yeah. And of course, I'm not blocked anymore. Uh, but let's go to the Wheeler... Memorial Library, mm -hmm. and then nothing will yeah. show up. Yeah. Private yeah. people will show up, but, but look yeah. what happens when she yeah. goes, person that has an admin for that page, I'm gonna do a records request on the names of everyone that's been blocked within the past week and unblocked, and I'm going to do a copy of every single comment that has been blocked. Uh, so, I mean, this is where you get to help us yep. take right. money from the town because now we get to sue. Right? I mean, Kentucky, about seven months ago, someone wanted to do a cop's Facebook, the police Facebook department page, and they said, F you, F all cops. Mm -hmm. And they deleted it, and they, they blocked them, right? Why wouldn't you? No, that cost the, that small town 100 grand. I'm shooting for more here. Yeah. Right. I'm going to have you help us. Like, as you said, like, you're obviously not in charge of any of the Facebook stuff. Correct. However, like, we just showed you, and you can't unblock somebody because you're not in charge Correct. of it, but we did show you evidence <clears throat> showing that yeah. clearly his profile's blocked, mine is not. Yeah. And even though you're not in charge of it and you're unaware of how all that works, it did happen. Yeah. So I we're just need a, yeah, I need a paper and a pen. I'm going to okay. do some extensive records requesting. She was treated very poorly by that staff. In fact, they just ignored her. They took all the time in the day to tell me I can't do and utilize my God-given rights, and they wouldn't even recognize her as a person. And so. even even after the fact that I was treated absolutely poorly, I even said, hey, you know, like, I'm willing to give second chances. Like, is someone willing to speak with me or apologize or something? And absolutely nothing came about from it. And I was as nice as I possibly could have been, like... Mm -hmm. So there's just there was just no reason for the behavior. And then moving forward, there's no reason for him to be blocked. The only reason why I have not been blocked is because I chose not to make a comment so that I could show you guys that I'm not. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he was. It's just very concerning. Like, same as somebody were to, like, address a problem at a town hall meeting city me city hall meeting those problems can be addressed at those meetings it's the same thing on a forum like facebook for the town and it's going to be tough right because like just for example this is what nashua just had to send me same thing like i am a those are the names of the people that they deleted and those one two three four five six people i mean like you take it's going to cost the city. My job is, because if we're going to keep people like that employed, I don't like the taxpayers have to foot the bill. But if the bill's high enough and you take that amount of money out of a small city, I'm good at that. I mean, then your choices are you take out the trash and fire her. And I'll, at that point, I'm fine. You fire her, get rid of her. That's fine. I'm okay. I don't need to move forward. If not, just... I'm going to use my resources and I'm going to start, start filing lawsuits. And it's great because they're easy wins. It's not like a conjecture thing. You know what I mean? Like, it's just a fact. You can't delete someone from a public page. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help out Town of Orange. We'll, we'll sort out the difference of apples and oranges. Well, it's just absolutely wrong. I mean, it's, 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 I mean, he's being civil. He's being cordial. He's addressing his grievances. Like, there's absolutely nothing wrong with what he did. He didn't even cuss. And he gets blocked from place that's absolutely public oh we're gonna get people's names oh, we're gonna get everything yeah. uh, there's a body come on in uh, I was just moving back here I don't think anyone's behind us but thank you so much for getting back to him this morning yeah, we appreciate it we're not mad at you we're really not mad at anyone we're just sick and tired uh, for the people and this town that I have to deal with jackasses like Rusty. If they haven't seen anyone like me before. I don't think they thought that someone could do a records request on who has access and what yeah. names have been blocked. I mean, this is great. This is when the city helps me sue themselves. It's, it's, it's a great, great system.
And you do have a beautiful office here. It's nice. It's organized. You do good work in here, I can tell. Thank you. Just by getting back to him, like, in a timely fashion, like, you're... Well, well, we, right. we, we do have 10 business days to get back. No, you sent it very, You very were very quick. quick. That's, what, I, that's what I'm as saying. As, I get, as soon as I get something, you know, the information back, I try to get it right back out to the people because it yeah. tears it off my desk and... I right. Don't have to worry about losing it or... <laughs> right. You you work like me. You deal with the problem when the problem happens, and then you don't have to worry. You know, you you cleared it. Now you yep. move on to the next agenda for the day. <laughs> yep. Yeah. The pen. Mm -hmm. So I put here that I'm doing a records quest uh, for the name of every person who was blocked on Wheeler Memorial Library Facebook page in the last week, the name of every person that was unblocked uh, in the last week. So if they real quick want to, you know, say, oh, I'm not there, he's not on the block list, they want to unblock me, they'll beat me with a punch there. We've learned sometimes government does some sketchy things. Uh, names of staff that control or have access to the admin abilities at the Wheeler Memorial Library Facebook page and any and all emails, facsimile, inter-office memos, notes in regard to the library, YouTube video on accountability for all incident or etc. There's my name at the bottom okay. and a, a good email address. Okay. And we even personally showed her that you were blocked on the Facebook page. So it's not even like a, a question of, are you? Yeah. It. I mean, you saw for yourself, like yeah. there's, so. Okay. And I'm not willing to, so like, what I did for Nashua, just as like, proof of purchase, I said, um, I started contacting Alderman, and I was like, this is what happened, and they're like, oh no, that can't happen, we're so sorry, and then half hour later after, you know, they and reinstated me real quick, and I'm not doing that this time, because their behavior was so unacceptable. Mm -hmm. It was so far beyond the scope of, of what is realistically acceptable in a public facing capacity, that I'm just, I'm just getting that information as like pre-discovery because I'm gonna file, uh, I'm gonna file my intent, and you guys will have you six months to let us know if you want to settle. Which Corporation Council is definitely gonna wait it out, and then they're gonna try and settle because it's not a winnable case, um, and then the the town's gonna, they're gonna pay us. Well, and I mean, um, and I'm sure you've you've been in a part of a situation. I know we all have where you've been faced with somebody who apologizes to you where it's genuine, right? And then you get are faced with an apology that you're like, that person just said it to say it, but they have no idea what they apologized for. It was like that where she, she asked him, well, what would you like an apology for? He's in the middle of explaining what happened. And then she just says, well, I'm sorry. And then walks away. Like, that's not... Just because you say the words doesn't mean that the good intentions were behind it. Like, absolutely. And then she and then she wouldn't even speak to me. Just, that's not how you treat the people that you work for. You know and, what I mean? And they just got trained. This is from KP Law. That's your corporation council, isn't it? No, they're not, they're not our town council. <clears throat> no, who's your town council? Um, our town council is Donna McNichol. I mean, so she's private and then just contracted when you guys have issues? Yeah. So did she give you this? Uh, no, I attended a training and that's what they had said. Was that training me. about four months ago? Uh, no, it, it was at a town clerk's conference. Well, oh, okay. How about how long ago was that? Uh, I don't know because we have three a year and I go to most all of them. So, Cause, um, so we've found so this almost in a couple different places yep. and it's all because of they, they see me, yep. specifically in Massachusetts, <laughs> and then 
almost exact signage yeah. gets put up like Berlin has one yeah. um, which means they go through training right like they go well, through I, training like and stuff I like that. To, to town clerk's so I don't know what training on that and I I couldn't tell you which conference it was at so when that library when when Rusty's replacement comes in to replace her because I'm willing to do that um, she only makes what uh, I think that we said she makes 15 grand a year just just over that so I'm willing to to help out the city I'm willing to not sue for seventy thousand dollars in lieu of her getting terminated. So not only do you save seventy thousand dollars, you save the fifteen that you were wasting on that schmuck, and you get to actually put in somebody that might not cost your city money or be a liability in the future. So I appreciate your help. Yep. Um, you know, we the people we're just trying to help out as much as possible. So we'll see um, if li if Rusty's still there, we can see about getting rid of her pretty quickly. And um, I'll get a certified copy in the mail to you guys today. I'll provide it to this office um, as a notice of official intent. Because, you know, like when someone tries to restrict our freedoms, someone who's in charge of adult services and should know better, like that's wrong. It's absolutely wrong. So thank you for taking the time to listen and us Very putting in the request. Thank you. Appreciate professionalism. And thank you for going to that training and putting up that sign. It's folks like you that are, are actually doing good work and doing the right thing. And it sucks. It's, it's one bad apple. Spoils it for the bunch. Mm -hmm. and, and Rusty's nothing short of a bad apple. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I haven't watched it, so I don't know anything about it. So. Well, they threatened me with God. Yeah. Not Rusty specifically. Yeah, no. Oh, well, the other lady, yeah, she threatened me with God. Yeah, so. but thank you. Okay. All right, we'll hear back from you soon. Administrator? Yeah. Oh, nice to meet you, man. What's going on? Uh, let's have a doing? chat. Uh, my name is Josh. Josh. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. You seen the video at the library? I saw some of it, yeah. Uh, woo! Can you hold this for a second? Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Um, that was a problem. So, but beyond that, the whole point is like, we go and we film, and sometimes we have great interactions, like the town clerk is blessed to have. Yeah, she's Wonderful. Awesome. She is. Tingsboro, awesome. Berlin. There's some really great interactions with people. Sometimes yeah. we have one that leaves the folks wanting, and in this right. case, wanting for more freedom. My main issue is not so much the behavior. That's a problem. We can address that. Okay. Uh, we can do coaching and training. My main issue is that we went on the Facebook page, and I left a comment, and I took a screenshot, because I am not new to this. I'm true to this. Okay. And I left a comment saying, you guys need more training. And I put a copy of the video link. Yeah. And I took a screenshot, knowing within minutes I'd be blocked. Okay. Uh, and I was, within minutes, blocked. Really? Um, and then I took a screenshot of that, yeah. and unfortunately, whether it be TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Google, it's been upheld over nine different times. Right. That, that, that public is a public forum. In fact, I don't know if you knew that a police department in Kentucky just paid someone $100,000 because he said F you, F all cops, and they deleted and blocked him. Huh. Violation of his free speech, which your Miss McNichols, your town council, of course, informed me. We just went through the same thing in Nashua. Yeah. Um, we spoke to the alderman, and of course, I was reinstated immediately. Um, and I went through the rabbit hole of having them provide me the names of every person that had access to the Facebook account, right. every single name that was removed, and I'm not so inclined to just have them do that because I sent them notice that I wanted my stuff back up. The behavior was unacceptable, so I, I think like the best way to deal with this is to move forward and provide intent. And I told the town clerk I'd be doing that today because what happens is the same that case. And you can't violate someone's rights. You can't block them from redressing their grievances. My First Amendment right is violated when I'm being told I can't film in a public arena. And then another component of the five of my First Amendment right is violated when I'm blocked from redressing my grievances to a government that has already tread on me. I see. And then we've provided them notice to reinstate, and they have it. So, right. I mean, like, what do we do now? We sue a small town. And hit them for seventy, eighty, ninety yeah, thousand yeah. dollars. And that's tough on a small town. It's tough on yeah, a small exactly. town. So what I'm probably gonna wind up doing, unless like within the next ten minutes, I click on that Facebook page and I can see because we've already yeah, you done should it show them. next door to show you. I, I took the screenshots too, but when you go over to the Facebook page, I mean you can pull it up on your phone. You can just try and go to the Wheeler Memorial Library. Yeah. I'll click on it. <laughs> Nothing. You know, the North Gavin Garlic Arts Festival, other people, of course, they're posting their reaction to the Wheeler Public Library, but there is no Wheeler Public Library because Here. I'm blocked. Let me, let me show you but mine. But yeah, if, if she shows you yours, because she... Nice what do you think the chances are that I have, like, 
a phenomenal attorney that I spoke to before I came here just to shore up everything. Right. You guys tell me, but super, yeah. super high. Yeah. <laughs> so like, here's where I'm at. Yeah. If I'm reinstated in the next 15 minutes while we're still in this building and I get go to the library and a formal apology or she can come over here. I got an apology from her. She's still employed. Yeah. Yeah. Or work to change that. Yeah. Um, then I will consider not moving forward uh, legally because who wants to back up a small If not, I will move forward. And then once we get to the point, because what I do is I provide my intent to sue. The town right. corporation council of six months. They'll probably wait it sure. out to the end of that six months. And because it's not even a case, it's like just grounded case law, you can't really fight it. Yeah. Um, they'll try and settle with me. Uh, and at that point, I will ask for an exorbitant amount of money or I will ask that they fire her. So what's the options at that point? I get the town for seventy thousand dollars. She gets fired anyways, and the town has to give me a writ of memorandum, apologizing publicly for this issue, or I say fire her and I don't sue. Now, when did you get blocked from their Facebook page? Same day. Same day. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see what's on this show here. There we go. It's beautiful. You should so, see the date on there too. All right, here we go. So this is my comment. I think I left comments on two of them. This is my comment. Six, no, this was screenshot, so yeah. oh, there you go. So there's my comment, most relevant, three highs. And then you click, and then I screenshotted this to show that there were two, in fact, two comments. This guy, Joseph, and mine. Okay. Now the next thing you go to is, I leave a comment in another, another post. And then I screenshot to show that there's one comment, which is only mine on that post. Then I go back about a half hour later, the page is not available. I go on her phone, I screenshot. That originally had two comments, now only has one. Which is, this guy, when does the raffle end? No other comments there. And then they change the only people who have been a member of the page for 24 hours can be, but let's go back, when does the raffle end? Let's scroll all the way back. What does his comment say? And it's a raffle, and so what happened is, what happened to me here when I redressed my government? Yeah. Looks like you, you were blocked. I was, yeah. which would be a violation of my yeah. First Amendment right and my right to redress my grievances, which is a pretty serious problem, which is how people like that wind up on thumbnails of viral videos. So, it was yeah, well, I'll it's very who wrong. administrates that page, probably Jessica. Well, here's the thing this is where the town gets to help me either fire one of their own or sue it's, it's, it's really easy, actually. I just put in a records request requesting the names of every person who has admin access. Then I put in a Facebook, I put in a records request asking yeah. for the names of all the people that have been blocked within the past week. Then I asked for the names of all the people that have been unblocked. Why? Because yeah. once the record request goes in and it says names are blocked, they'll unblock me real quick and then I'm not in that name. So we'll be that much, but we've done this a couple times before. Yeah. And then you ask for all the comments that were stripped and removed. And at that point, once you provide me my name being either blocked or unblocked, and my comment that no longer exists, by an employee in a public forum, the town's just admitted to restricting one's first amendment. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm hearing you guys. I got the allegation. I'll be sure to follow up on it. What do you think of the video? And I watched like five minutes of it. Problem with the stomach down. anymore after that? I just, yeah, you know, there was issues. Uh, training issues I saw, so I was actually just at the library, following up with Rusty, Kat, Jessica. Why don't we go over there together? I'll, I'll tell you one thing. She didn't want. She wanted to give me a fake apology then, and I just said all I wanted was an apology. And all she had to do was yep. come up to me and say, "Listen, I was wrong. I shouldn't have told you that you couldn't film. You obviously can." I, I think she did apologize. I apologize. She no, did. what she said was, "I'm sorry you misinterpreted the situation." Which was interesting. I mean, because once you I, should know what a, a fake apology looks like and a genuine one once is. Once I said, I, I interpreted the situation, yeah. I literally played back the clip. You can't film here. So I said, how did I misinterpret? Don't give me a fake apology. I didn't misinterpret anything. You said I couldn't film. Now you're apologizing, saying I'm sorry that I misinterpreted. So now the apology that you're giving is somehow intended to make me take responsibility for the fact that you told me I couldn't use my First Amendment right and then once that said, she walks away. So I'm talking real apologies or real money. Well, I mean, it also didn't make any sense because she started off with, I don't know 
what you'd like me to apologize for. Can you let me know what it is I'm supposed to apologize for? As he's in the middle of explaining it, which he didn't even get out the first sentence, she cuts him off, apologizes, but we all know like what a real one is and a, and a fake one is. And then when I'm trying to speak with her and let her know like, hey, that's, that was not an apology whatsoever, she wouldn't even address me and she walked away. So like she wouldn't even speak to me. She works for the people. Like that's her job. Yeah, she wouldn't even to speak to me, and she auto. she didn't she didn't apologize to him. Do we have you guys' contact information? So yeah, so email. Email. the contact information is right here. There, there's okay. no more back and forth. We've done that. Yeah. I called the city hall Friday. No one answered. This young lady finally answered. We're done yeah. with that. I'm, I'm a totally different breed of what you've seen online, right? Okay. I am. I'm the real deal. I'm here. So yeah. what I'm telling you right now is that. And what, what do you think the chances that I already have a letter of intent drawn up by my attorney is sitting in my car in my glove box? I don't know, but you sell it, so. Probably pretty good, right? Real good. Yeah. So I'm gonna go down to that library. I can go head down there with you. You're already there. She knows she did wrong. There's some coaching and training. I can get a real apology. Everyone sees on a video that people make mistakes, and she got a second chance, which is one more chance that she should have got. And everyone leaves with a better, a better taste in their mouth, not a bitter one, because finally she took some responsibility for her actions. We get me unblocked, and and all is great in the world of apples and oranges. Yeah. Or that doesn't happen. I file intent, and I just. Legally, every resource at my disposal, I can hard for this place. And I'm taking as much money with me as possible. Okay. Um, yeah, we can go down there. Perfect. Yeah. And I mean, I you've seen it. for yourself that he's blocked. No, no, so no. Like, yeah. So I just started last week, so I, I'm like... You did? <laughs> who are you replacing? Uh, you. you did, he, did he just resign, retire? Oh, uh, she retired. So. Okay. See, like, the same thing I explained to her. When I'm out of you, you're doing the right thing. It's sure. just a problem that, you know, when you so blatantly... Like violent, and, and I found it interesting that like she wants to tell me God's watching me, God's gonna come after me. Mm-hmm. She's using what her first amendment right, the freedom expert. of religion, yeah, five components of the first yeah, amendment. First amendment sure. yeah. Freedom Assembly, of religion is one, right? Yeah. So, but I can't use my free speech, I can't use my freedom to film, freedom of film, which is free press, sure. and I can't redress my government, my government. So, I can't use three out of the five, right? But she can use her one, yeah. no problem. They're fine with another person using. One of the same, yeah, yeah. same she, things. She's, for yeah, all intents and purposes, America, right? For religion, so <laughs> yeah. You guys head over now. Yeah, let's go. That's I mean that's the problem, man. Like where maybe she's, she's creating protected classes and unprotected classes in one foul swoop. Maybe while we're there, you can get them to unblock him in the same instance, so that that can be done as well. I don't know who runs that page, but we'll figure that out too. Thank you. Yeah, that'd be great, man. All right. Yeah, he's Josh blocked. I'm Anna unblocked. (laughs) I didn't get blocked. Thank you so much. This is where I was talking with God in the stairwell. I'll just stand back. Hello again, Jessica. What's your name, right? Yep. I'm usually not there. <laughs> I came with uh, the yeah. other guy? Yeah. All right. <laughs> who, yeah, who, another who, town administrator. Who is yep. he? Town administrator, right? Yep. So, you guys saw the video. Yep. What do you think? I uh, can't comment on it. He could comment, and he's your direct, one of your direct supervisors, <laughs> as far as government administration goes. So, I'll fly report to the Board of Trustees, too. Um, library Facebook page. You got anyone on that block list? Oh. Any yeah. Am I on that block list, Jessica? I can't comment on the library well, Facebook well, page. Well, you can, because it's public, <laughs> and I just submitted a records request, which is going to tell me who has access to the Facebook page. It's going to give me all the names of the people that have been blocked in the past seven days, all the people that have been unblocked in the past seven days, and the people in the specific comments that have been blocked. So, so you know, case law has been upheld nine times at a library's Facebook page, Google page, Twitter, whatever. That's what public access. So, 
you have the right to redress your grievances. So you can't block someone or delete someone's comment because that would be a violation of their First Amendment right to free speech and the other component to redress their grievances. So what do you think the chances are that we knew you were gonna block us and we got the comment before it was blocked, after it was blocked, from multiple different screens, we have copies of over 30 people just right now that I have on my phone and many more who've been blocked. So that, that's what happened, right? And that's, I mean, she's, I was telling him, there's a town in Kentucky, a guy went on the police Facebook page and said, F you, F the police. And they deleted and blocked him. You know how much it costs that small town? $100,000. And they can't fight it in court. They just pay because it's an obvious violation. So uh, cause what I'm here willing to do is I have the letter of intent and I got everyone's name because I did a records request that I got back this morning. So I have everyone's name. So what I was willing to do, and I already have it in my glove box, I have a letter of intent that's filled out. Do you know what that is? Uh, I don't know what's the letter of intent for. In the state of Massachusetts, I have to provide a letter of intent, letting a municipality know that I have every intention of moving forward. So I have discovery attached to that intent. It's to let you know that I'm going to sue you personally and the municipality, both you and Rusty and the town of Orange. Then it's going to go to uh, Miss Nichols, who's the corporation counsel for the town, and then she's got six months to respond. So she's probably going to wait right till the end of that six months, since she can't fight it in court because it costs too much money to fight something you automatically lose. It's just this case law is so firm and finite that it can't be challenged. At the end of that, she'll start talking settlement, and the lower she goes, the, lower, the higher I'm going to go. So I'm going to use other case law of the most recent one, hundred thousand dollars. And I'm gonna use that as my bar set because it's been, it's kind of hard. Like, how do you quantify someone's losses? Well, that's how you quantify what other people have got paid when you've done the same thing. And then I'm gonna say to the town, your choices are you pay me your hundred grand or you can keep your money, but she's out of a job. And then they're gonna say, we're not gonna lose a hundred grand. We can fire her. She only makes 20. We're still saving 80 grand. Or I can come here today and I can start getting some answers and some honesty. So I'm only gonna go through this one more time. Are there people on the block list in this library? Josh, you just threatened me with a lawsuit. I can't comment on it in social media. I think that's fair. No. I mean, oh, it is fair. It's fair. It's fair. It's, fair. it's, fair. it's fair if she wants, I wouldn't call it fair. It's fair if she wants to cost you guys a whole boatload of money. Because I am blocked, right? Go, go ahead, pull up, the, pull up the Wheeler Public Library on your, on your phone. I don't have my phone. You don't have your phone. So you why why is it an issue? Like, what are we looking at here? Like, why can't we get him unblocked? Why can't you just admit that he is blocked and unblock him? I mean, literally, he just told you about a case where somebody was cussing on a public forum and they won their Ooh. lawsuit. He's He's not even cussing. He's redressing his grievances. And he got blocked from a Facebook page that is public. What did I say in my comment? Yeah. You can't, you just I, threatened me with I, can't, I can't stop censoring my ability to redress my grievances. Stop deleting mine and others posts. And then this guy, Joseph underneath it says, when's the raffle? So I took a picture of that. And then I took a picture of this to show that there are now two comments, mine and Joseph's. And then that's another post. I go over here and the Facebook page isn't available anymore because you blocked me. So I have her go on her Facebook page to see that there's only one comment. And that one comment is, when does the raffle end? So that's the same post that I commented on, isn't it? Two days after I posted, isn't it? But my, my stuff isn't there. In fact, I can't, let's see if I can view the page. I just, I know. I'm maybe just not I'm, understanding. Like he, he saw that he was blocked. He saw I'm not blocked. The town yeah. clerk saw the same thing. Mm -hmm. Why is this the hill that you would like to die on? Like, why can't we just get him unblocked? It's the proverbial hill that the town dies on. Like, you guys lose money. Like, your ego is the deflection shield for, for the town losing money. The threat to sue is real. I'm saying I will not do that. He doesn't want I to. I want myself unblocked, and I want a real apology from Rusty, not one that starts with, I'm sorry you misinterpreted the situation. You can't misinterpret it. Misinterpret, you can't film. Those are three very specific words. That's not misinterpretation, that's her taking what should be an apology for restricting my rights and turning it into something where she's apologizing that I have 
I am now to blame. I have misinterpreted the situation. So you don't have to cost the town all that money. You've, you don't have to. It's very nice that I'm here right now, even giving you guys this opportunity. So if she wants to give a real apology and I get unblocked, I'm good. You, you, you've restricted his freedoms twice. Not you personally, because I don't know that. But this library has restricted his freedoms twice now. Mine, once. There was a woman that came in here that used her freedom of speech and used her freedom of religion to express that God's watching him. That didn't get restricted. Yeah, see, we don't censor free speech. In fact, what's happened, it, it's interesting. The freedoms that she wanted to celebrate, she celebrated. I, I got my rights violated twice over. My freedom of speech, my freedom of religion, and the right to redress my grievances. Civil unrest is the birth of democracy in this country. And that woman, and if you're incorporating yourself into it, that's fine. I have no problem cleaning up shop. Because I will, just out of, like, literally, out of point and fact, once we get to talk settlement, I will tell the town, Mosset, you guys can keep the money, just fire her. And they will fire her, 100%. I mean, sir, ma'am, this is wrong. And if you can't see that it's wrong, then we have a serious problem. His free speech should not be blocked on a public forum. He should be unblocked. Just as simple as we're standing here, it's a click of a button to unblock him. It's as simple as we're standing here, a genuine apology could Keep be coming from Rusty. Coming, so you guys, you're not going to be able to hide it. You're going to, so I know what I'm doing. Like, you're going to show me who's been blocked. I mean, Nashua is way bigger than you are. They have two different corporation counsel. They just sent me the same list. They were smart enough. I called some aldermen and they were like, whoa, we are really sorry. We broke the law. Let's get you reinstated. But I'm going to find out if my name is blocked. I'm going to find out if my name is unblocked. I'm going to find out who specifically has access to the account. I'm going to find out who is the person that did the blocking. That's not the rabbit hole that you guys want to go down. I mean, maybe it is. I don't know, but that doesn't seem fair. This guy's doing a great job in his new position, only been here a couple weeks. This, this can't be easy for you. Like, you're the first week here, and he's having to deal with this. I mean, I this... Sure the Truman Show. Sorry, last week. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean... Somebody's hanging up a script. <laughs> so, here's, here's what I'm going to take today. Because uh, I told you I was going to take... Did I tell you I was going to take an apology or a job? I wouldn't lie, and, would I? And I even asked separately. I said, like, look, I'm, I'm willing to, you know, set everything aside. Mm -hmm. It's a simple apology. Right. Even after he was like, I'm done, he was upset. It, rightfully so. I'm like, you know what? Maybe we all got off on the wrong foot. Can we please just get a genuine apology? No, from we're not going to say please. We shouldn't be. We shouldn't be but kinder it, to them than they were. No, of like, course not. But I'm trying to take the higher road, right? Like road they, less travel. The government. Why should we? I, the I, be we shouldn't. The road but we shouldn't. We're getting trapped. But no, of course not. We shouldn't. But mm. I'm. I'm trying to appease to anything that you might have left. Put a lesson in forgiveness. I hope your ears are open. A genuine apology is not super hard. Well, we did talk about it, and they did apologize, but we thought it wasn't. Yeah, no, it was, well, I'm sorry that you, like, so if, if, if I, like, say I slap, I slap, oh, I slap you in the face, and they're like, oh, an apology, I'm like, oh, I'm sorry you misinterpreted what just happened. I'm saying that you perceived that you were wrong in thinking that I slapped you in the face right. when I just slapped you in the face. Like, she, it's now saying that, like, I'm putting her out, that I... And now the, you are, she's now the video. I'm sorry. Told, uh, you can't film here, right? 100%. You are not allowed to videotape in this yeah. library. She yeah. knows that. So I'm going to say an apology, a real apology, a sincere apology from Rusty, and have myself reinstated. Then we can discuss, get myself reinstated on the Facebook. And then I am not going to move forward uh, legally um, and hold any jurisdiction for the violation of my and the deprivation of my rights under color law and the violation of 1983 USC upheld by the Supreme Court. This That's is, fine with me. It's horrible. It's sad to see. Well, let's, and let's it's a that. simple, it's super simple click of a button, and it's a simple apology. Simple, genuine, not hard. Okay. I can definitely go back through and reinstate everyone who is blocked. That's not an issue. Excellent. Um, again, you know, I can't discuss it beyond. <laughs> but well, so I, listen, listen, so you know, moving forward, yeah. someone is literally like, which I wouldn't say, because I didn't swear at you or call you any sort of names. I no. But someone's like, Jessica, you're a mean blank, 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 beep, beep, beep. Yeah. Fill in days. the blanks as you'd That's like. Days. Might not be nice, but nice. what's going on, brother? Hey, how's it nice going? Nice is, is not what this country is founded on. Nice was not founded. This country is founded on, on democracy, not feelings. 
think it was taxes on tea. Have a good day, sir. Well, it started with a 1% tea tax, an yeah. unfair representation, right. or no representation with taxation. That was where it started on. Then it started on the precipice that 3% of the nation overcame 97% of the populace to overthrow tyranny because they weren't allowed to exercise freedoms that they believe they were God-given righted to as, as, as you know, Englanders. Right, and that's the Bill of Rights. And I know, you know, this can't be a comfortable situation that we we all have ourselves I hope in. I it's as uncomfortable as possible. I really mean that. And I, I could sound mean or whatever, but you guys took my rights. I want you to, I want you to be squirming. I hope when that video came out, you guys were like sitting there like, oh, am I going to be employed tomorrow? Because I'm a different animal than you guys have seen before. So is she. We follow through. I mean, you might have thought that we came in here for a little bit of a video. You guys are stupid and we took off. I've been calling since then. And once I realized she wasn't fired and I was still blocked, we hopped in the car and came up here. We followed through. So, yeah, she wants to come out and apologize um, to me for restricting my rights. And then um, to her for ignoring her. And then we, we reinstate me on the Facebook page. Then, then, that's, then that's great. I didn't say anything mad. I mean, you guys blocked well, Jessica, me. Jessica, how would you normally handle uh, somebody that, that had a complaint, a customer complaint? Uh, well, I'm the only staff member that has a complaint. Well, I'm the only staff member who's obligated to represent the library on social media. Okay. Like, you know, this is being... Oh, so you did the blocking. All right. Well, it's, honesty is good. This is not a problem. I'm not mad at you. No, no saying. one's mad. We're, we're, the, we're, the honesty we're is down. refreshing. I know what happens. You didn't really know that there was case law protecting that. And you're like, listen, we already looked bad enough. It's a small town. Now they're putting the link saying we need more training. I'm just going to delete this person. I'm going to block right, them. Because you're trying to just, protect your library. Wanna, we we get it. Deal with this. We don't want the other patrons to see it. And that's probably what happened, right? That was probably, it wasn't malicious. Your mindset was just like, we're going to protect the other patrons. Which I'm sure why you did it. But um, I don't have my speech censored by anybody. And I've faced down, you know, a thousand cops armed to the teeth during, during riots. Trying to cover that as an independent. And journalist. that's scary. I don't, I don't run from librarians trying to step on so uh, we could get yeah we could do that I so if we could click that people. button and an apology then oh, we will yeah. be out of your hair buttons and we'll save the town some money and, and then this guy is going to be in his job for a while because you're very lucky most bosses would either like they'd, they'd look at the information they wouldn't say anything they'd speak to corporation counsel and then the corporation council would be like bye <laughs> or you know most people in your situation would be like We'll get back to you. Yeah, and then they, they don't. They send me well, you, got, you guys drove out here. I don't know where you're from, but, you know, you took the time out of your day. It's so not easy. I moved in 1130 to 1230. I appreciate that. Yeah, we want to get out before you lunch. So yeah, he's we'll, not we'll passing start. the buck on to somebody else, and, and he's, well, he's he doing it now, came he here. He had to do it then. He would have been... said the buck stops here. That's right. Um, I don't know if I this woman quickly this needs to do something. It's important that folks remember that those who would sacrifice essential liberty for temporary security deserve neither liberty nor security. Which basically means that for you to understand that once you give up your rights to someone's feelings, we're in a position like this and like real Americans will stand up and say you're not censoring me. Well, and if there, so. there, there are rights and if we don't use them, we do lose them. But yeah, perfect. I'll, 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 no more spieling from us. You can go ahead and grab her. And we'll wait. We'll wait, and then we'll do some unblocking. I can go ask her what she wants to do, but... Yeah, you can ask her if her ego is you can't, to cost her her job. You can't now, force her to do something. And now 100 grand. And I'm telling you, I told you to take a job before. Now, she's... You do what you need to do. Yeah, I, I, will, I will wait. Because my intent is already printed up. She's, she, you know, she's only human. She can't force somebody to do something they don't want to right, do. But, I just but, hope but, that but Rusty... I don't want to give her too much credence because she just admitted on camera that she was now the one. Right, of course. Which we knew. Yeah, we, we did know that, but I like to get, see the way I ask Sorry, the question, man. and I'm sure you probably notice, is that I say, oh, you know, there was no malicious intent, it was just, you were like, I don't want the, you know, the rest of the people to see this, and you were just doing it because you're trying to protect folks. I, I'm not asking if that's the real reason she did it, I'm trying to get her to admit on camera that she did it. So we're, just, we're showing up some loose ends if she doesn't want to be big enough to apologize. And see this sign? I think that... I don't give a shit what she's comfortable with. I'm not comfortable having my rights violated. How about this? 
100 grand, 100 grand she's gonna steal from the taxpayers because she's too good to get off her ass and apologize? My, the fact that she's comfortable, how many times do you think that popped in my playbook today? Zero. How long do you think I will care that she's uncomfortable? To the 39th of Neverwhere. She wants to cost this municipality and this town, herself personally, you personally, and collectively in a global resolution for deprivation of my rights, that's fine. Because she's going to get fired anyways. Josh, that's absolutely I wrong. I think Jessica can apologize on behalf of the She didn't say it to me. Also, Josh, I would say, like, I haven't risen my voice. Nobody has. So. This okay, is free speech. So we just went you cannot silence his free speech. Censored. So now I'm engaging in civil disobedience. Now I'm, and I'm, listen, I'm, I'm not yelling. I'm now raising my voice to be heard by my government that's ignoring me. He's raising money, in voice and money, hopes money Rusty talks, can hear Jessica. him. Money talks. Rusty does not surrender her rights as a private citizen when she shows up to work. And She's in a public capacity. Who's giving members? you this information? Rusty is a public-facing employee. Yeah, but Jessica's her boss, so if Jessica yeah. feels that she can... I'm the only staff yeah. member I'm obligated not, listen, to... Listen, you, you can apologize for me, to me, not on behalf of her, because you didn't tell me that I couldn't film, right? You didn't ignore her. She did. You can apologize to me for blocking me and then reinstate me. That's the only thing like that you did. You don't apologize for other people's actions. That's I, not fair. I do because she's my responsibility and her boss. No. She, she's her own person. You need to, if you're gonna work in the government sector or any sector for that matter, you're gonna have a job, you need to be responsible for your own actions. I have small children and I explain to them at a very young age and they have a very good understanding that you are responsible for your actions. When you do something sorry, when you do something wrong, you say you're sorry. We learned that in the first grade. We had this discussion. Or younger. So <laughs> she doesn't want to apologize. It's fine. I'll deal with that separately. Um, I don't want you to apologize for something you didn't do. That's not fair. I'm a fair person. I don't think that's right. So but if you want my responsibility. It's not. It's not. I'm not I'm your not responsibility is to figure out what is done next for Rusty as far as employment. That's your responsibility. You apologizing for her. It, that's void. You can't apologize for somebody coaching that training. did something. And it's interesting because he said that, that he came down here and there was some coaching and training provided. I'm not sure she's taking it in, but yeah, I don't want you to apologize for her. I, I won't take that um, to heart. So but I'm he'll take an apology for you, rest you just, restricting his speech. Yeah, you just want to apologize for, for blocking me and then you reinstate me. I will take that from you because that's your purview. So you can do that. If you and want. that's fair. And I would accept that. Very sorry that you were blocked on Facebook, but I blocked you on Facebook and I will reinstate you as soon as I can get to that. Excellent. Thank you. Appreciate so thank that. Thank you very much. I'm releasing you of any personal responsibility and liability in the suit that I'm moving forward on. Um, you did apologize. So I can, as a government agent and employee, I can sue the town and then I can separately sue you. I'm choosing not to sue you because you admitted that you were wrong. What you also admitted is that you did. On behalf, of a on behalf of this government, actively block me in a public forum, restricting my freedom of speech, restricting my freedom of, spe my freedom of press, and also blocking my ability to redress my grievances, which I've now had to come and travel great length to do today. So I do release you from any personal responsibility. I am, because she's not apologizing, and she can take the load for this, I am now going to um, sue the town of Orange. I'm going to sue her personally for the deprivation of my rights. I'm also, besides the deprivation of my rights that I'm suing the town of Orange for, I'm also going to be suing them for the negligent supervision of Rusty. So I'm not only going to be suing y'all on a federal level, which is the deprivation of my constitutional rights, i.e. you can't film, i.e. you can block. The negligent supervision is something that's under the jurisdiction of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. So I'm going to be suing you on a state level as well. Now, I've done this before, so the, the, there is no cap. There's no federal cap on what the what a violation of someone's rights are, right? There's, there's no quantifying number. It's not like you have a medical bill and it can look at a quantitative number and give you something. But thankfully, there's so much case law in existence of government municipalities that have blocked people's free speech that a number has been short. It's went from 70 grand up to 100 grand, and in some cases more, but 100 grand seems to be the bar. So what I'm probably gonna do is, for federal, I'm gonna sue for 150 and then, and then Commonwealth of Massachusetts, I'm going to hit that bar. That bar is 100 grand. I'm going to sue for that as well. And I don't have to win. I have to have the jury award me $1. Do you know why, Jessica? Because as long as I'm awarded 
dollar, 99 cents, my attorney's fees have to be paid for. And I have a very high priced attorney that bills for everything. Great attorney. So, but it's not even gonna get to that. They don't have to waste that time because they know that I know what I'm doing. So they're just gonna say, listen, let's talk money. And it's probably gonna come down to something more like, we'll pay you, but sign a non-disclosure agreement. So, you know, you, you gotta take the video down. You can't talk about this anymore. And I'm gonna say, no, I care less about the money, more of my freedom of speech. And then I'm gonna be like, what I really want right now is her out of a job. Then she's gonna be out of a job. And what's unfortunate is like because of her ego and because she can't get past our freedoms, this is all going to take place. You know how unfortunate that is? Like the town shouldn't have to pay for her fuck up. Well, they're lucky because he's, he's here and he's doing a great job. So listen, none of this is any, any personal. Uh, yeah, I think so. See how nice I am? Much more respectful yeah. of the people than a lot of this stuff. Oh, I said you up over here just so like so, thank you. Thank you for coming down here. Sure. Um, I appreciate you, man. You did everything that you can do. There's nothing more that could be expected of you. I think that the people of Orange should be proud that you, you left the building. Because most of the time what happens, they say, talk to counsel. And six months down the road, they say, finally, I can comment on it. I'm really sorry. The person's been removed. The money's been paid. It's in a trust now for you, whatever, what have you. You did the right thing because I believe you care about your position yeah. and you had, did some coaching and training yeah. and they're lucky to have someone that's young that's not tied up by politics. I think that's very important. In fact, this is his second time here today because yeah. he's he was here coaching doing his job. Yeah. Right. You, you know, Among you, other things. You, see, you, can make, you can make mistakes, but you're willing to learn, which is, like, I make mistakes all the time and I'm willing to learn. That makes someone salvageable. You know what I mean? Like, when, they, when someone's rights are violated, it's either by ignorance <coughs> or by inaccuracy. Mm -hmm. and, I, and you admitted that you made a mistake. You shouldn't have done it. We're going to get me reinstated. And th there was an accident. Not an accident, but you made Learning a mistake. Learning happened and you've today. And you're yeah. sorry for it. And that's all that we, we want. Like we, I mean, if I was really about it, I would just, I would sue you. I'm not. I'm not doing that. In fact, I've never wanted to sue somebody so much. I'm going to sue her. But that is a problem. And I'm telling you one thing, if I worked as a public face, even as this, in my capacity right now, if I did something wrong, it sucks. Because you guys don't have to go in front of 150,000 audience with 50 million worldwide views. You guys have to go in front of a town manager and maybe human resources when you apologize. I have to apologize to the world, but I still do it because it's right. And she's putting the good of this town behind her own ego. Right. I'll let you take care of them. Thank you. I guess that's the best. Um, we can do uh, today. It's just uh, unfortunate. I mean, how many times like do we do what we do, and yeah, sometimes we, we get it wrong, wrong. <laughs> and we apologize. Sure I mean, it's wrong. super simple. I, it blows my mind that like humanity, honestly, is just going down the drain. Like a simple apology is no longer a simple apology. It's so, sad. Let let her know that because. I mean, actually, I have to change something because I was, I was going, I was not going to break. I was going to go all out. Either all of my demands and the people's demands are met or I was suing. So the intent that I have specifically states your name in it in a personal capacity as well as your position in the town as a, in a public capacity. And it's a letter of intent, so I can't just cross it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to redraft it because my word is, is real and like Rusty's, you are not gonna have any personal liability or responsibility. Obviously, neither would you nor should you. And I'll make it so it's just the, the, just the municipality, the violation of our rights, the, un, the negligent supervision, and the only person that will be out of their capacity in a personal aspect is going to be her. And then um, if you wanna set up a time so you know, you're not overwhelmed by it, yeah. I'll have that finished today. And then I'll come back in tomorrow or the next day, whenever you're around, sure. I can give it to you in hand. Because I, I, I I'm not going to go through the whole town hall and film everybody. You've been very nice, so I'll just, I'll give it to you nicely and discreetly. Okay. And then um, we can talk to, what's her first name? Uh, Attorney Nichols' first Donna. name? Donna. Donna Nichols. Donna, yeah. yeah. Okay. So I appreciate it. You know, that's all. Thank you, Jessica. Can, do. can I just see you, can I wait here until I'm unblocked so I can check it on, on my, my phone here and make sure I can... Redress my grievances here. Go into my office. No problem. We can't get to Facebook. No problem. Okay, Thank you. No problem. And I think genuinely Jessica just didn't know. 
Uh, like that's why we do yeah. what we do is okay. so that people can learn or, you know, it, I wish Rusty would. But, so I'll see you guys in a couple days? Yeah, like yeah. within the next okay. few days because okay. we've got to redo the letter of intent and then we'll be good to go. So uh, will you be in your office in the next few days? I'll be around, yeah. All right. You'll be able to find me. All right. Well, if not, we've got your assistant too. After one. I wanted to make sure you got out of here in time to have your lunch. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. All right. See you guys. All right. Bye. You did a good job, man. You did a good thing. They got a knitting and crocheting club, and like, look over here. And I do think that this library is in desperate need of a renovation project. It's, you know, this building well, is I mean, old what is it donations to the lab oh this is for us they started early i'm telling you right well, that's now that's nice i'm telling you right now the amount of money that this library will be saving by no longer employing rusty is oh, yeah. going to be worth it all in that's itself true. so that she can no longer like restrict people's freedoms up to this point right here this is still public because it's, well, it's, it, well, it's all public because yeah, the are restrooms there. the restrooms this way it's even public in there oh okay oh okay yeah, yeah. it's public in there the restroom is this way oh wow they can go oh, okay they can't employees only be on that right way. we can actually yeah. go in here i think it's mostly used right, that's as... a great question where is jessica she's unblocking me on facebook and then uh, hopefully she's gonna have a good rest of her day because Rusty ain't going to have a good rest of hers. I'm a sad nanner today. Yeah. I'm I mean, sad. Imagine that. You live in a small town. hundred grand's a lot of money. And uh, there's people going to be like, hey, just go around suing people. Sue, sue, sue. They, I'm not suing it. They want me to sue them. I can't, like, I can't stop what they want. Because you I said you didn't want to. I gave them an opportunity for not to happen. So Rusty's got to be held accountable. And I did promise I would. Had to boot up my computer, but everyone should be unblocked now. All right, let's Thank go. you. How many folks were on the block list there? Uh, well, I had some from the last few days and some from a long time ago, but I don't know. I just unblocked. Oh, everyone. look at that. Oh, I'm yay. Thank you. Right, so let me see. Wait, hold this one second. It, I mean, sorry. obviously, like, people should be blocked if they're leaving threatening messages and things like that. Like, but our freedom of speech to redress our grievances, whether it's at the public library or the town hall, that should not be restricted, whether it's on a Facebook page or not. Right, so I'm going to do this like this. I'm going to go to this newest post here. <laughs> oh, so a lot of people's comments in the book. Right? Oh, no. Nope. Oh, so it says only people who follow this page for more than 24 hours can comment. I don't have to follow the library. Anybody can comment. I just want to leave a link to my video again and let everyone in the comment section know that I'm going to send to that place that she still works here so people can start calling Alderman and stuff. So, yeah, I'm unable right now. Oh, that to... shouldn't, that blocker shouldn't be on there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, can you? I just want to leave Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll wait here. Thank you. It's very nice. Uh, she's, she's doing a great job. What more can she do? She's stuck working with a, a bad person like Rusty. She didn't know. And honestly, she might not have even realized that she should have turned that off. Mm -hmm. So and she knows now. Rusty could be answering the phone, but. Tell Rusty to answer the phone. She's not doing much of anything else. I want that phone answered. I mean, it's 12, 24. She could be on lunch, but. I needs that phone answered. That phone could have been you. Could have been me. It's the people calling.
Anyone can comment. It's it's the Orange Wheeler Memorial Library in Orange, Massachusetts, and she would love as many comments as possible. She learned today. She'd love for people to, to comment and let them know how they feel. If their government's not doing a great job, they want to know about it. They want you to tell them. I didn't, we didn't lie to them. We told them this was going to be the course of events. I know. I waited for the call. I even waited longer than I should have. Not call, but email, you know what I mean? No, they didn't even bother to email you. Why would, you, why would they email you when they couldn't even give you the basic human respect of answering your questions? I still was trying to give her the benefit of the doubt. I mean, why? Because you identify as a, as a woman? Maybe if you identified as a, as a, a cat, she would have. Spoke she spoke to you. Rusty, when you get that, phone's ringing. I do think Rusty might be on a lunch. I think she took uh, a Rusty don't lunch. deserve lunch. Rusty can do what we tell her to do. Oh, I get it. You raised your voice earlier, but you certainly did not yell. Even though, even if you had yelled, would that would have still been yeah. it within your I rights to do. I can yell if I want. I didn't. He's like, you don't see me raising my voice. Uh, uh, no, 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 but we can. You're in this whole mess because of how they dealt with speech. <laughs> see, they forget, like, they like to say, well, I have free speech, too. They do not have free speech. They li literally have huge limitations on their First Amendment rights. First and Fourth Amendment rights, they have, specifically, they have huge limitations. Because they work as a publicly employed official. Uh, Facebook is doing a thing where I have to go through and make every single post um, commentable individually. Oh, <laughs> so that's I did so the, strange. Yeah, I did the top few. Okay. So you can comment on those now, but I didn't want to leave you standing out here for like 20 minutes while I sit there and be like, everyone can post. Everyone can okay, post. no problem. <laughs> she would rather the city lose money and its citizens apologize for violating our rights. <coughs> I'm sad yeah, today. Have feedback. Uh, if you have uh, feedback, you'd love for them to be on here leaving their feedback. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. I'll tell them that. Um, and your <coughs> feedback welcome here. Oh, that's good. <coughs> Good. There it is. Perfect. See that, guys? That's, uh, and this is the Facebook page that we're talking about here. Yeah. The Real Memorial Library. Okay. So. Right. Excellent. Well, thank you for doing that. Yeah. Um, and then, and now you know. Um, and I hope you feel better. Yeah. I, I've, I know what it's like to have like a lingering cough that just does not go away and then people looking at me like I'm contagious of something. Yeah. But the tested Saturday, Sunday, and this morning. It's not COVID. It's Good. just a lingering <laughs> cough. I, those pesky allergies, especially when the weather starts changing, it's um, horrible. Let, let her, Rusty, know, please. I appreciate Ari starting on the, on the foundation. It said we're grateful for your uh, donations to the library. Oh, is it? Oh, that's going to be wonderful. I'm going to use that. So we'll, that'll be part of what they gave me. And let us know they just fire which it will. That's how it's going to go down. They're eventually going to be like, listen, you know, mathematically, we're looking at 200000 bucks. Maybe we settle, cut each one of them in half. We're looking around 70000 80000 It doesn't make a lot of sense to lose that money when all he's asking for is that she be terminated. So if we terminate her, we're not holding her salary. We can find someone else that's not a liability. And we don't have to pay this kid $80,000 and the problem's over with. 
Yeah. And that's how that's how it works. It's just I'm a sad Anna today. I'm yeah, sad, Anna. sad Anna. But I appreciate your professionalism. Thank you for doing the right thing and apologizing and, and reinstating us. That's all we can ask. Um, we just like to remind the government that a lot of people think that you know the government's in control of them. Like that's not the case. Like we don't bend the knee. The people don't bend the knee for the establishment. The establishment bends the knee for the people. That's why the town manager, the town administrator, left his office and drove all the way back down here after he had already been here today for us to have this discussion. Like Rusty is the only person that's not picking up. She works for the people, so we'll give her a reality check. Make sure she don't work for the people. All but right. you, we like you very much. Thank you. Yeah. As we can all learn something new. I learn something new every day, so thank you. Where's the Where's the lady that threatened me with God? Is she working today? No. No, she's off today? Yeah. What a waste of 15 grand on that one, huh? I got <laughs> salaries and everything. She can have her freedom, but we're, we can't have ours. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God was watching and found her needing his help. <laughs> thank you.